pleased to say that I am very familiar with Dan the Hammerhead. We actually came from the same wrestling company over in the UK almost 10 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a UK wrestling veteran and he has been fully trained in the art of British wrestling. So expect to see a man who is competent in his mat game, competent in his technical wrestling, but he's also been known for some hard strikes and a devastating flying headbutt. This is a guy who came from the FWA Academy over in the United Kingdom, trained by the legendary specialist Mark Sloan at a training school that's produced the likes, including Justin Gabriel, Katie Lee Virtual, Drew McIntyre, and the current NXT heavyweight champion, Adrian Neville. So let me tell you something, Emmanuel has a hell of an uphill battle against this UK veteran. Well, we are meant to keep our cool, Andy, but the way he treated me out there, well, I'm just trying to do my job. That's what it said on the card. I don't know how to spell his name, Greg. I don't give a hell. I don't care what his name is. He will be Emmanuel to me tonight. Bloody hell, you are grumpy today. You've been like this all he, evening. He made me look like an idiot out there, and this guy, this cocky, brash little rookie, thinks he can come into MCW and own the joint? Well, that's not how it works around here. Okay, Danny boy, do it for England. Do it for the Queen. I'm backing you all the way, bucko. <laughs> Will you stop talking to the audience? Well, Dan, the hammer head. I hope he gives Emmanuel exactly what he deserves. Now, I've been talking to a lot of my friends back in the UK. I've heard that Dan, the hammer head, has a bit of a fiery temper, but he's got a great mat game. He's got a great base of technical skill. So expect to see that in his contest. Meanwhile, Emmanuel, we don't know a lot about him. We're not sure what he's gonna bring here tonight. Well, we saw that video of Emmanuel and it just took over Facebook. It was going around everywhere. You saw the life that he came from, his fancy cars, his fancy mansions, but that means nothing when you step through those ropes. Well, there's that fierce temperament of Dan the Hammerhead. I was telling you about and cousin Eli there stopping the hammer right in his tracks. How is the size of the cousin Ali? Oh, there we go. There's a wrist lock there, beautifully executed. And the hammer now is going to have to find a way out of this arm ringer. Rolls what? few, beautifully executed, takes the leg. Oh, that's it. That's how you do it. Well, Dan, the hammerhead, he comes from the, the wet part of the world that you come from. What do you know about the guy? You know, you don't know how true that is. He's from Portsmouth, England. That's where he was trained. That is the wettest area of England, seriously. That's like the underbelly of England. It's really bad. Anyway, but what do I know about him? Well, whilst you were at the ring in introducing it, I was telling the fans all about him. This is a man who's been trained by the specialist Mark Sloan over at the FWA Academy, which is one of the premier training schools in the UK. He is technically proficient. He is technically sound. And he has come from the stock of a lot of very reputable competitors who have made it big all over the world. I mean, look at that technique right there. Flips straight through, and there's the rehearsal, and Emmanuel flipped onto the ground. I'm sorry, Andy, I'm gonna struggle to say, I'm gonna try because that's what MCW pay me to do, but I, I don't know if I can say Emmanuel. Well, damn the hammer head. Great idea there, he's targeting a body part. You saw him drop the leg straight across the shoulder and now he is retaining that pressure on there on Emmanuel with a headlock of his own. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm just having a little bit of fun now. How big is the Cousin Ali out there? And let me tell you, if Emmanuel is so big and so tough and had everything his whole life, like he says in his video, why does he need a guy like that by his side protecting him? Well, I don't know, all off the ropes, the match is getting fast and furious, down the hammer there with a deep arm drag, beautifully executed, in regards to the cousin outside. So, if it's Cousin Ali, are we pronouncing that right, or is it Cousin Ali or something? I'm really not sure how to pronounce these names now. Is this an Australian thing? The look on, the or look is it on a Ponzi ass thing? <laughs> Now look on Cousin Ali's face, I don't think he cares who you, how you say it. Yeah, it's a face only a mother could love, that's for sure. He looks like he... Okay, I don't, I don't think anyone's buying the handshake. Nobody is buying the handshake. And Dan the Hammer would be... Oh, and there's this cheeky slap there from Emmanuel. Slaps like a girl if you ask me, but gets the headlock nice and tight. Forces the hammer to the ground. Well, I think there was a bit of hype about Emmanuel coming in, and I'm going to say Emmanuel, about him coming into MCW here. But he came in, and within minutes, he'd made about 
200 enemies out there. He's brash, he's cocky, and I've had enough of him already, and I've seen a couple of minutes of him. Yeah, I was going to say, he's rubbed everyone up in the backstage completely the wrong way. He walks around, like I said earlier, the God's gift to wrestling. Big shoulder block there by the hammer off the ropes. He jumps over the sleeper, off the rebounding ropes. There's the leapfrog, beautifully executed, but the hammer showing his veteran experience right there. You just reminded me, he said that, didn't he? He called himself the God's gift of wrestling. This is his first match here in MCW. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Come on, Hammer. Well, I think he says that in quotation marks because I don't think he's proved it just yet. Oh, beautiful. Flips through on the head scissors there into the roll-up. Nicely executed, straight onto Emmanuel. And he's got him in the ropes. Well, Dan the Hammer, I didn't know a lot about him when, when he came in tonight, but he's impressing the hell out of me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he is an absolute game of the mat. And as you can see right here, he hasn't just got him in headlock. He is absolutely riding him in that headlock. But Emmanuel showing a little technical skill of his own there. Now with the head scissors wrapped tight around the hammer's head. The, ham the hammer now trying to find his way out. But Emmanuel uh, tightening up the vice-like grip. You've got to give it to him. He makes my skin crawl. But the guy is in fantastic shape. This crowd wheeling the hammer up. Come on, hammer. Oh, the hammer. Oh, beautiful oh. headstand. That's, now that's some old school British wrestling right there. Emmanuel now fighting back to his feet. The hammer, however, is meeting him to the punch. A deep arm drag right there, beautifully executed. Tell you one thing, Dan the Hammerhead actually came over here to take part. Oh, and the cousin now getting involved. Have a lot of big, oh, discus, sort of a hammer punch there almost. Now, is that for a little irony? There's the cover, there's the cover, and there's the kick out. I was going to say, Dan the Hammerhead actually came over to Melbourne to take part in the Melbourne Comedy Festival. He's taking part in a wrestling comedy show of all things. But this is no laughing matter. Right now, he is in a fight with Emmanuel. And Emmanuel has all the advantages in the world purely because we know so little about him. And it turns out he's actually quite skilled within that squared circle. Well, the Hammerhead had him, and then it was Cousin Ali that turned this once again. We're seeing these outside advantages, and the side, the guy at the size of Cousin Ali just standing outside that apron, that's got to intimidate the hell out of you, Andy. Oh, absolutely. And now Emmanuel is definitely in control. That was a beautiful snap suplex, and now he's just stomping all over him. Do we really have to say Emmanuel? Emmanuel! I don't know. At the end of the day, it's going to take us a little while to get used to his name. I will pronounce it Emmanuel when he earns my respect. Oh, and straight face first into that turnbuckle. And that's going to put a lot of stress on the ribs. And Emmanuel knew that. And he went straight to the abdominal stretch. And that pain, he'll be feeling that stretch right from the top of his head all the way down to his waistline. That is a painful submission hold. And down the hammer head, he could be in trouble right now. Oh, hip toss by the hammer, oh, come on. Spoke too soon, he managed to hip toss him out. Oh, catches the clothesline, and there's the backside. One, two. And Emmanuel beats him to the punch. A big knee lift right into those ribs. We saw him working on that earlier. We saw him launch him into the corner. And I've got to believe that Dan the Hammer, the Dan the Hammer head ribs are going to be really smarting right about now. Well, no doubt Emmanuel would have been to the most expensive wrestling schools this country's got to offer. Oh, gut buster. He would have been taught by the best. And he's showing it in there. The guy really knows his way around the ring, Andy. I'll tell you one thing. This is a sound strategy. He's managed to hurt Dan Head. And he's hurt him right in the midsection. And he's going to... Even the way he's pinning him, he's putting all the weight into the midsection. He is making Dan Head exert all that energy to force him to kick out. And now he's got a, a very tight-looking waist lock there. And he's just going to ride this now. Drain the energy out of Dan Head. And this, this is a winning strategy, if you ask me. We've had a lot of debuts here tonight, Andy. No one more impressive than Emmanuel, it hurts me to say. This guy is taking up against one of the world's best athletes in there. Oh, absolutely. He's got all the tools of the trade. I just wish he wasn't such an ass. There's a big knee in the midsection. And Dan Head now is really in trouble. Oh, it's like a bullseye. It's a bullseye in the ribs. I haven't seen a ponytail since about the mid-90s, Andy. Well, 
Emmanuel pulls it off with a little bit of style, don't you think? Maybe that's his plan. Maybe you get distracted by the ponytail and you forget he's a good wrestler. You know, there have been weirder things happen within the squared circle. He launches him into the corner and again he hits hard. Bloody hell. How was the force there, Andy? This guy is strong. Well, he's a great athlete. You can just tell that by looking at him. And now he drags him to the middle of the ring. That is smart. Quarter Nelson's in over into the cover. And there's Dan Head with a kick out. What would a win by Emmanuel beating Dan Head here at MCW on his debut? What would that mean for this guy's career? Well, let's be honest. Both these guys are making an MCW debut. A victory, as we said in the earlier matches here tonight, a victory in your first match is so imperative. And Emmanuel, I mean, he's Australian based, so you've got to believe he wants to win because this is his hometown. But I've got to believe, I mean, I've got to be honest, I'm biased. I want Dan the Hammerhead to win tonight because that means he'll get more matches over here in MCW. I'm an old friend of his and I'd love to see him here more in Australia. Well, I would normally be on the size of the Australians, but God save the Queen in this one, I've got to say. Oh, and there's the roller, beautifully executed. Dan has got the pressure on, but there's the kick out. The hammer into the corner. He's trying to get his breath. Oh, and thankfully kept his conscious about him. Oh, wait. Oh, big back elbow. I thought Dan the Hammerhead was getting the advantage, but just like that, Emmanuel cuts him off. He was almost Dan the No Head then, Andy. Emmanuel now. I don't know whether he's stalking or wondering what I've got to do to pull this man away. Down the arm ahead, getting the audience behind him. And Emmanuel just so cockily brushing his head. Oh, and a big stiff hit there. This is why they call him the hammer. Those punches are not to be reckoned with. Well, every time Dan Head gets the advantage, Emmanuel just keeps on putting him down. Oh, he's going for a corner launch again. He misses it. There's a rehearsal. Bad body drop. But you've got to believe that Dan Mahan ahead, he's taken a lot of punishment to the midsection. He is reeling, but he's still in this fight. Big hard right hand. And there's the receipt there from Emmanuel. And another right. Well, the crowd behind Dan, Dan Head here. Very rare. You have an Australian audience on the side of the British, because to be honest, we don't like you. Let's be honest, you guys love us. You love us, really. You love us coming over to your country and taking your jobs. Big clothesline. And there's another. Yeah, I'm just going to keep talking. I don't want you replying to that. And there's the big right hand. And now he's calling him in. Blocks the arm. Oh, with double overhook on the arms. It looks like he's going for the hammerheads. Beating on that chest, the crowd chanting away. Oh. He certainly has a hard head. That was a big headbutt, and he almost got it there. But let's see, oh, he's signaling. Could he be going for a big flying headbutt to finish off? He's waiting for Emmanuel to stand up. Picks him up. This will have to end it, Andy. Oh, oh Emmanuel's fighting out of it. Well, that was wise. Kick to the midsection, hooks him up. Oh, the hammer with the reversal. And where's he going? Oh, beautiful Death Valley driver power bomb. And Emmanuel with a kick out. Beautifully executed, but it just wasn't enough. Not enough body on body contact with that pinfall. You can see. Yeah, he's going for the headbutt. He is going for the big flying headbutt. He calls this the head rush, and if he nails this, mark my word. Oh, One get Cousin Ali, get down. Cousin Ali, get off the How top. much get do we have to see tonight, Andy? Jesus, I mean, he's a bit scarier than Miami, but just like her, he's, he's a man trollop. He is an absolute monster. Here we go. Head rush. Oh, bloody hell. That is the mistake, and he's just crashed to the ground. And Oh! oh. Big Yakuza-like kick, and there's the pinfall. Oh, come on! Oh. Well, deep down, I was hoping that Dan the Hammerhead would kick out, but it wasn't to be. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Emmanuel.